So a little over a year ago, we talked about the differences between the Z690 chipset and the Z790 chipset, which I hope, I hope you, can, you can see that. Um, so that was back when Intel's 14th generation of processors dropped. And now we have the 15th generation of Intel processors, which are confusingly named Intel Core Ultra processors. And there's a reason to it. They're, they're an interesting proc, um, or a set of procs, I should say. The new Core Ultra processors come with a new chipset, the Z890 chipset. And today, we're going to compare between the old new, the Z790, like I just showed you, and the new new, the Z890. Um, before I do that, though, let's do a quick refresher of what a chipset is from the dictionary definition that I will read off to you right now. A chipset is a component on a motherboard that's designed by Intel or AMD to work exclusively with their specific processors and essentially facilitates communication between the CPU, storage, RAM, GPU, and I.O. Certain chipsets can only support certain features, such as PCIe Gen 5, DDR5 RAM, USB 3.2 Gen 2, or USB 4, etc. Specific chipsets also only support specific processors. So when choosing a motherboard, you want to look for the particular chipset that supports your particular CPU. This means that the Z890 chipset only supports the Intel Core Ultra processors. They are right now mutually exclusive, which is very classic of Intel. But if you are looking to get one of these new chips, then you are also looking to get one of these new chipsets outside of that. Are there any changes between this new chipset and its predecessor? Yes, there are. Last time, I couldn't say the same. The Z690 and the Z790, if you remember, were really, really similar in terms of what they could do and their sort of maximum capacities. Uh, but the Z890 is a little bit different, and I'm going to put a graph up on screen, and I'm going to pull it towards myself right now. So you can see 800 megahertz increase in RAM speed. Maximum RAM capacity has gone up by 64 gigabytes, and the total amount of PCIe lanes has gone up by four, all of which are Gen 5 PCIe lanes. So that's a pretty substantial increase from the last gen. But I need to remind you that if you do upgrade motherboards, then you don't just automatically get all these bonuses. These are in reference to the ceiling, the maximum that you can have with this chipset with your motherboard uh, with this processor or with these processors. And that's great for, you know, the performance crowd, but um, this is more so just to show you how far along the consumer chips have gone. And it's pretty far. It's, it's you know, 256 gigabytes of RAM is, that's a lot of RAM. So for the average consumer, is it worth upgrading to this new chip? And for the average consumer, the answer is yes. Okay, hold on. So, is it worth upgrading to this new chipset? In reality, I'm asking, is it worth it to upgrade to this new chip? Because the Intel Core Ultra is a very different processor. It can do different things. It has different dedicated cores that do different stuff. Obviously, this means it's gonna be case by case, but for the average consumer, there's a lot going for the Intel Core Ultra processors. Now, a lot of this is more important on the laptop side, actually. But even on the desktop side, the Core Ultra processors use a lot less power to do a lot more stuff than their predecessors. And they're a lot better at doing integrated graphics stuff. So at the low end, they're actually really superb chips, depending on the one that you get. For those of you who are really looking for performance, might be a safe skip. But if you are looking to have a more sort of power conservative computer and aren't really planning on getting a dedicated GPU, the Intel Core Ultra processors and their respective chipset, the Z890, might be for you. And if you're looking to get one of those, like right now, then you can give us a call with the number on screen or, or visit us at the URL listed directly below. This has been Marcus with Velocity Micro, and if you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.